I'd like to first uh, congratulate uh, Coach Norvell and uh, Florida State, their staff, their players. Uh, terrific game. Uh, they played their guts out uh, like our guys did. And um, uh, heck of a game, you know, for them, big win for them. Um, incredibly proud of our team, uh, disappointed for them uh, in the loss. But, man, I'm, as I uh, told them going into the game, you know, uh, I'm not going to, you know, play to a scoreboard. You know, I want to see fight. I want to see guts. I want to see courage. I want to see toughness. I want to see physicality. Not perfection, all right? I want to see uh, belief. Uh, and um, we saw that tonight from our guys. And so they've done, that, done everything um, that we've asked from them and couldn't be more proud uh, of them for that. Disappointed and again, uh, not being able to find a way to, to win the game. Uh, they made uh, a couple of more competitive plays uh, than we did. Uh, we had our, certainly had our opportunities tonight and like the normal ebbs and flows of, of any game. Um, again, they, they uh, you know, they did enough to win. So um, I'm proud of our guys. Uh, again, again, disappointed for our seniors, but as I told them foundationally, uh, how we do what we do is what matters. Uh, you know, it's an easy time uh, now to for people to judge us based on being six and seven, and that's fine. That's that what that's what goes with the with the territory. And this is a performance be, uh, based profession, and you know, people on the outside are going to judge us on that. And uh, winning is incredibly important, and that's the standard and the expectations that are here at Oklahoma. Uh, but how we do what we do matters. Uh, incredibly proud of. Uh, certainly uh, these gentlemen here, Dylan and uh, Deshaun, uh, for their leadership, their heart, their toughness, their work, uh, for uh, believing in Oklahoma and uh, representing the brand the right way. And uh, you know, moving forward, you know, it's a great learning opportunity. Had a bunch of young guys that got uh, their first extended playing time. And, man, I was uh, really excited for them and, Proud of them and their effort, and um, it's going to bode well for us, uh, you know, in the future. So, uh, with that, we'll open open it up for uh, questions. All right, if you have a question, raise your hand. We'll call on you. Our first one will be John down the front row right here. Yeah, Brent. Uh, I know you didn't win, but how does this game make imprint this game fit with the culture and structure that you want? When you talk about foundation, how do you build from what you saw out there on the field? Yeah, the I mean, line again, line and it. I think, I think what you all saw today is what we've been seeing the last three weeks since, again, the end of the regular season and a uh, bowl game was announced and then our guys went right back to work. And you got to just trust my eyes. And from weight room to finishing strong in the classroom to the practice field to the extra film time to um, handling themselves with class, uh, both uh, – you know, on the field and certainly off the field while we were here doing everything that we asked of them. I couldn't be more proud of them. And that is foundationally what it's about, man. They, uh, they invested a tremendous amount. It should hurt. Uh, that's never going to be acceptable. But at the same time, you know, you have no regret when you put everything you got into it. And that's what this football team did. And uh, proud of the, uh, the players and all of their hard work and uh, their perseverance and just fight until the end and proud of the coaches too you know were there plenty of mistakes absolutely you know and we'll have to you know look at those you know once we get here to the out of season as well but uh, what I saw tonight was what I saw the last three weeks and um, proud of these guys you know for that right, we'll go over here on the right uh, Brent I wanted to ask you about just uh, uh, 60 rushing plays, four offensive linemen were missing. Eric Gray's out, and you had Gavin, and you had uh, Javante have big games. Can you just talk about the run game and how everyone came together and meshed? Yeah, again, I, you know, the guys up front, man, they played physical. Uh, they played with purpose. I thought, you know, the players played with the tremendous physicality and toughness that uh, we've asked from them. Coach Biedenboe did a great job getting these guys ready. Uh, Jacob Sexton went out early uh, in the game, and uh, unfortunate for him, uh, but he'll he'll recover okay. And uh, but really, again, I I, I love the uh, the sense of desperation that they played with up front and uh, tight ends, O line, 
the backs, uh, Gavin and uh, Javante in particular, uh, Dylan in, in some of the run game uh, that he was involved with as well. Uh, you know, thought these guys, you know, again, in, in many ways is exactly uh, according to game plan. And um, so proud of them, you know, for that. All right, we'll take one on the aisle here, and then I'll be passing it up to John next. Kind of, hey Brent, kind of following up on the the run game. Gavin Salchuk, he hadn't seen a lot of time this year. He came into this ball game and, and kind of shined a little bit, even though in a loss. Can you talk about his talent, his performance, and just kind of the future he has at Oklahoma moving forward? Well, he has a tremendous future. He's he's made of all the right stuff. Uh, tremendous character, great work ethic, incredibly uh, humble, uh, intelligent, tough. You know, uh, you know, it's it been easy for a guy like him to kind of check it in and not get better, but he showed up every day and got better all season long. These guys would attest to that. And he's been a great teammate, and uh, he's ready for his opportunity when it presented himself. So uh, really, again, excited for him uh, in, you know, some of his production tonight, outstanding. And, um, you know, he's going to be a lot better going into next year because of it, kind of like Jalil in our bowl game a year ago. Uh, so, uh, also obviously able to, you know, preserve his his redshirt year uh, as well. Down the front. Yeah, for for Dylan, uh, could you with the patchwork offensive line guys coming in this past few weeks and then you know first quarter of the game? Can you kind of describe the competitiveness in yourself to be back in Orlando, uh, if scrapping through, running for your life, making positive yards, and then getting up and even showing a little spiciness, I guess, at, at times. You know, John back and forth. Yeah, it's just that my, kind of thing. my competitive nature. Um, I want to do whatever it takes for this team to win. And obviously, it's a little frustrating when it doesn't happen. But <clears throat> personally, I think the O-line played their butt off in, in the sense of their effort. They're guys who care. They're competing for, you know, their opportunity at hand. And I can respect that. You know, in, in times of a game, things happen. Um, MAs happen or shoot sometimes you just lose a rep but they continue to fight and regardless of the situation you know AP coming in and playing his butt off um, I'm proud of him uh, more importantly because they're my friends and guys I've connected with and are really close to so um, whenever it's like that you're, you're riding with them forever and regardless of you know the, the situation take one over here on the far right Sean, I know that you know the loss is fresh in your mind, but can you appreciate what this season has meant in terms of you being a senior, a captain, and trying to get that foundation built? Um, definitely, yeah. Um, and kind of, you know, this season has been up and down. Uh, it's been um, something that I'm not really used to. And I don't think any of us are really used to, and so um, kind of having this opportunity to still leave a legacy in a way and just still kind of leave your, your fingerprint behind or your uh, however you want to look at it um, was something that I just kind of clinged on to all year, you know. And as many times as he said it, like I just, every time he said it, it's something that I, I knew that I wanted to do and I just wanted to, um, any way I could, any little thing I could for, uh, you know, the young guys, just leave them with whatever I can. And so, um, you know. Take one from Barry on the right. Yeah, Dylan, uh, you, on pass plays, you were running for your life a lot, but that running game relieved the pressure. What can that running game do going forward? If you guys can run the ball like this uh, with new tailbacks and a new line, what does that do for, for the future, you think? Um, I think, you know, anytime the run game is doing well, um, it helps a lot, not only in, you know, game management, but also, you know, if you establish the run game, it helps you out in, in, in all areas. So. Um, our run game has been really well, or just been really good all year. So um, I'm proud of those guys up front, and obviously the running backs. You know, there was no drop off in that sense, um, with you know how talented those two you know young guys are. So, Ira on the left, Coach. Um, you guys obviously did a better job stopping their run than a lot of people have done, uh, but then they got you guys in the passing game in the second half. Was it? Um, them adjusting, or, or, or what do you think happened there? I think they got us in a couple of tough matchups. Uh, they made they made a couple of competitive plays, and then you know Jordan Travis does what uh, did what Jordan Travis 
does sometimes. He extended plays uh, with his legs. He does a great job keeping his eyes down the field. The receivers do a great job of getting open and staying alive. And, and they made some plays uh, in that regard. We had the screen uh, that was part of the you know, whatever it was, 48 yards or something like that. And uh, we don't leverage it right. And you know that's what happens. Uh, they did a good job off the play action, how they they uh, they had that design. But, uh, you know, I think it was a combination of of a couple of bad matchups, not not great calls. Uh, we had to, uh, 14 on a safety. It should have not have happened. And um, they made us pay for that. And it's a game of matchups, and that wasn't our intended matchup. So that's on us as coaches. And uh, But, again, I thought Jordan Travis got into a, a pretty decent rhythm there. Uh, you know, they they drove the ball, you know, first drive of the second half, they went 15 plays for 94 yards. And um, they made, again, just a lot of critical plays within, you know, that drive. And that's what good teams will do, you know. And we wanted to make them be efficient and uh, drive the ball down the field if they, if they were going to, uh, as opposed to big plays. We still gave up too many explosive plays. It's a tough thing uh, to have happen uh, and have a chance to win one score game. Uh, but, uh, you know, I think it was a combination of those things in the, in the passing game, the second half. All right, go on back on the riser. This one's for Dylan. Uh, Dylan, Coach Winnables talked about not back here. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Coach Winnables talked about not record chasing. Uh, but whenever, you know, you know that the 23 season winning record streak came to an end, does that affect you that that happened this year? Not necessarily. I think. Uh, it tested us, tested me personally, um, just in life, the journey, you know, all the work you put in um, with a bunch of guys who have the, uh, the right mindset and the great attitude and, you know, your work doesn't necessarily come into fruition in that sense. But I think, you know, what I love about Coach BV is just the, the idea of attacking the process and loving that and a result shouldn't be the, the drive. Um, for your happiness or, you know, the the result being what it is. You know, it's just finding that deep joy in, in family, in the Lord, and, of course, with us because that's the only thing that sticks. You know, when, when you're tested like this, if you ain't got that, you know, you'll go, you'll go into dark places. So um, that being said, I'm proud of this team. We were tested in many ways. Um, but we got the right guys in this in this building, um, and we we love each other and, and know that you know regardless of the result we're together. So that, that's the main thing. All right, we got any more co questions for Coach Dylan or Sean? Okay, we got a couple on the right. Brent, I know you're only a few minutes removed from this thing right now, but when you get the chance eventually to sit back and reflect on year one, the last 13 games, where do you think it is your mind will go first? I mean, I've, I've had a lot of, I reflect on, you know, I've had plenty of time. Uh, I'm in the middle of it and I can see the trees through the forest. And so uh, first and foremost, again, proud of, again, the work of the guys, man. The, the, I've, I've been saying it all year. Uh, these guys have been putting the work in and um, giving us everything, you know, that we could ask for. And that's what, that's where it all starts, you know, for, for me. And, uh, you know, if we come up short in a lot of different areas, as a staff and uh, certainly on the field, we, we certainly did. You know, there's plenty of disappointment and there's things that we'll need to do better moving forward. That goes without saying. Uh, but that really, it's, it's any seasons like that, you know, any season I've been a part of. So you go through, you know, your normal postseason, you know, processes of, as far as uh, evaluation and, uh, you know, how I did what I did and how we do what we do schematically and all those types of things. and. So that's a very, as you know, that's a very broad question. And, um, uh, you know, again, Dylan uh, alluded to it. You know, it's really, it's the commitment, it's the work, it's the fight, it's the investment. You know, that's where, you know, it, you know foundationally, it's, that's what it takes first. It takes that first. And if you don't have that, you have no chance. If we come up short, uh, you know, in, you know, five of our games, we come down to the last drive of the game. And um, we weren't good enough. We didn't coach them good enough. And uh, we got to play more, a little more efficient. And, uh, so we'll learn from it. That's what I know. Uh, I believe that uh, without, without question, uh, that we'll all learn from it. You know, 
a scarred up from a, a, a challenging season, but you know, I, I know uh, the type of men, the type of people uh, that we have in that locker room. And, and for me, that's what I hang my hat on in regards to uh, we're going to be fine, all right? And there's, again, we'll go back and look at a lot of things. You know, <laughs> there's a gazillion things that we'll go back and look at uh, that we got to be better at. And um, uh, programmatically, uh, you know, scheme, uh, personnel, all of it. And, uh, but for me, it, it starts with those other things. And so, again, uh, certainly uh, disappointed uh, being six and seven, but uh, proud in a lot of the things that we were able to accomplish and certainly proud of the players and, and uh, their work and their, their fight and their achievement. There's plenty of achievement in there in the middle of losing. There's plenty. And uh, so I think it's always important that you have the right perspective and you, you recognize that because uh, I think you can get lost if, it, if, if it's all. And, again, this is, uh, you know, at the end of the day, it's, my job as a head coach is to win and, and win every one of them. And I get that. But from, a, uh, from an expectation standard and, a standard, uh, and our standards that we have in our program, it, it goes well beyond that. The, the results, you know, uh, you, know you, don't, you don't get into the arena and say, Look, I'm only going to do my best if we win. You know, that's not how it works. You know, I'm only going to invest. I'm only going to put in the extra time. I'm only going to, you know, blood, sweat, and tears with my teammates. I'm only going to sacrifice if I know we're going to win. That's not what you do. And then, you know, the result always takes care of itself. And that's what Dylan, you know, was saying. And, again, sometimes, man, you're on the wrong side of it. And so why was that? And so you go back and, like you said, well, you go back and evaluate all of it. And we'll, we'll, we'll peel that onion all the way down to the core and, and look at that. But... Uh, I know we got, we got, we just, I just watched what I watched, you know, what I've been watching. And again, for a lot of people, they can't see that because they're not in, inside the building and that's fine. And, and we'll be judged by being six and seven. That's fine too. Okay. But uh, for me and for Russ, uh, I know what the future looks like. And, and I, I've been seeing it in that locker room and uh, the winning will come. I, I know that without question. All right, we'll take one last one for Barry and then we'll uh, wrap it up. Yeah, Brent, you said the foundation is in place and uh, expounding on what you just said. What did you see specifically out there tonight yeah. that shows that yeah. foundation? Yeah, guts, courage, fight, physicality, attitude, belief, commitment, trust, love, respect. I saw brotherhood. You know, I saw guys that had an appreciation for their opportunity, guys that um, had a thankfulness for, you know, putting on a Sooner uniform. And, again, you know, part of the hurt and the disappointment when, when – Certainly me too, you know, I, I know I can speak for them because we talk about it a lot is there's so this program has represented excellence for such a long time. And there's so many people, uh, they want to turn the Sooners on and the Sooners give them hope, the Sooners give them joy, the Sooners give them pri uh, a pride. And, um, uh, and, and again, when you, you come up short, man, there's some, there's some disappointment. And so a lot of the hurts, you know, it's for those people that have paid the price you know, have been in these shoes, have been in those locker rooms, have worn that whistle. You know, there's, hey, man, we're, we're all prideful, and, uh, and and we care about what other people think in regards to our football family. And, you know, the past players and the past coaches and all the excellence, again, this rep, this university represents, that matters to all of us. And um, so, but that's what I saw, all those things, you know, out there tonight. For more information, you can visit TulsaWorld.com.